Langham travelled up to Hoyt Lindeen looking to extend their winning run and their unbeaten start to the season. Whilst the Lindeen looked to get their first win of the campaign in what has been a stop-start season so far for them, with multiple games being called off for various reasons. The opening exchanges saw the typical aggressiveness as expected in border derbies, as both teams tried to find their opponents' weaknesses. Defences did manage to hold strong for 20 minutes, before Langham managed to get the first try of the match through Adam Rowe, when he found the ball loose, just a few metres away from the try line, after a chipped kick wasn't dealt with by Lindeen players. Both teams then struck penalties to keep the scoreboard ticking over as the contest neared half-time, but two tries from the men in Crimson gave them a commanding lead at the break. First, a mistake from Lindeen standoff Justin Tate allowed for a quick counter-attack and Langham hooker Chris Tate ran in for a score which Nathan Smith converted. And then on the stroke of half-time, Ben Jardine touched down after a quick turnover and a great showing of moving the ball along the line for the visitors, giving Langham a 22-3 lead at the break and putting them in control of the match. After the break, the Lindeen had a good spell and as a result narrowed the gap by three points through a penalty by 43-year-old Stephen Beatty. However, Langham then extended the lead once again with a well-worked and converted try through winger Callum Helen. The play coming right across the pitch and finishing with Helen tossing and turning to avoid touch and ground the ball. That would be the final try of the match as the remaining half hour was scoreless with the Hoyks side unable to get a try of their own despite their best efforts in the last few minutes. So a bonus point win for Langham, who travel back through to the Muckle Toon in the much happier of the two sides as they extend their unbeaten run in the league, whilst Hutland Dean will regroup and improve as they continue to hunt for their first competitive win this season. Full time at the Volunteer Park, it's Hoyland Dean 6, Langham 27. All credit to Langham, they were a well organised side and they played well, but just a couple of early mistakes, let them in a couple of tries, boosted them and we just couldn't, couldn't quite recover, couldn't take our chances, but I can't fault with players. It's been our better performances of the season, and it's, there's a lot of positives to work on, but it just wasn't our day in the end. Yeah, we knew coming up it was going to be a, a tough and dogged uh, game. We heard that they had some high force players coming into play, so that, that improved their squad loads, so we, were, we knew it was going to be tough, and it was for the full 80, but I'm proud of them. We managed to grit it out for the, for the whole game, and uh, it was like an 80-minute performance, not just a first half or a second half. It was a full game. Yeah, it's frustrating. Like we were meant to have Kostolfin last week, which is another massive game in our league, and we feel like we're peaking at the minute. So we don't want to. We don't really want to be stopping. We want to keep playing while we're while we're strong. But hey, if if we're playing like this every time we uh, every time we take the pitch, then I'm not bothered. We're playing good rugby. We're moving it wide when we have to, and we're we're good in D. That's starting to improve, and everything's just really coming together, really.